Hey guys, Joel here from Boxmo Gaming. Um, this is the second episode of our Piston Trap series. Um, today we're going to be doing a bit of a hallway kind of trap. Um, what it would be is basically you would have um, probably a mine shaft or like a long tunnel going through your mine, and um, if you don't want people going through there. Um, you basically just stomp them from above with stone and suffocate them. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to build a two wide tunnel and we'll only have uh, one stone plate so that you'll know to go on the other side so that you don't get stomped when you're walking through your mine or whatever you're going to build it for. I would suggest uh, building this in your mine because obviously the floor would be stone and it would be much harder for a trespasser to see. So um, as you can see I've just left two blocks in the middle and built up two high walls and then we're just going to stick a roof on top of this. And this trap is really easy. Yeah, You'll only need a few sticky pistons. Um, although I do just have um, too many items mod. Um, we're, we're actually planning on doing a mod review series shortly. Um, that will most probably be hosted by uh, most probably Ian, um, seeing as he is the expert at installing mods and it would mostly be for PC. So. Um, but of course I could easily do that as well. Um, anyway, this is basically what you're going to do. Um, it'll just be a 2x2 two two square of four pistons. They won't be sticky pistons. And then what you'll do is you'll just stack up four blocks like so. And then all you've got to do is add some wiring to this and set it up so that the wiring leads under the floor to a pressure plate there. So um, I'll just quickly do this and I'll most probably fast forward once I've shown you what to do with the repeaters. Um, let's start back. Alright, just grab your repeaters, place them on either side. Um, you don't need to change them, just leave them on the default setting. Grab your redstone, link them all up. Oh, those ones. Ouch. And then just make a little stairwell. Oops. A little stairwell going down to the floor. And then you want to go like so. And this will just lead under, and we'll just have a pressure plate under the floor here, and it will set off the redstone. Um, now I've just got to repeat that and hook up the wiring. And I'll be back as soon as this is all done. Okay, so I've repeated it on the other side. Um, there was no special trick to this wiring, just hook it up to your repeaters which are connected to the pistons, make your stairwell of redstone wiring going down and then all we have to do is dig away this floor and connect them all up and then add a stone plate. Very easy. Alright so to mark we're going to put our stone plate we're going to put our stone plate right here. So of course you will walk on this side, but the trespasser probably wouldn't know. They'll either step on that side coming into the mine or on the way back. Um, I didn't need to make two. Let's get rid of so I don't see that. Um, so you just stuck your stone plate down like so. And because this redstone wiring is sitting directly below the stone plate, shall just use a 
wooden plate to demonstrate. Of course, I'm going to have to reset the trap, and I guess you'll be able to see how to reset the trap. Okay, so I've just stuck a piece of wooden plate on it. Sends the current up to the pistons, and they push all of the stone down, and that suffocates the trespasser from the face. Now I will swap it. Of course, you will have to um, reset this one manually, but it's not like there's going to be trespassers in your mines every day. As long as you hide your base good, I think you'll be fine. So anyway, I'll reset this trap and then. I will pretend to be a wandering trespasser. Okay guys, I've set up the trap, made it all look normal, like it's not meant to be there, you wouldn't notice it. Um, of course this would be underground, or in a mine underground, um, and you would cover up all of the redstone wiring, making sure that you don't place the block right. I'll just demonstrate this making sure you don't place a block there because doing that will cause the circuit to break off and you wouldn't get any current sent down from the pressure plate. So, let's just pretend I'm a wandering trespasser and don't know that the pressure plate is there. Of course, they would keep walking forward like noobs and they would get suffocated. Um, I, as you can see, I did build this in about five minutes flat. Um, so of course you would probably make it at, at least eight blocks long, like the the pistons in length, the hallway, having the pistons drop the stone down eight blocks long, so that um, there wouldn't be a chance of them escaping, and probably add some pistons underneath here. So when they step on that plate, these stone blocks here come up to this level and so the trespasser can't back out. Um, of course I would probably I could probably show you how to do that in a part two of this video, like I did in the last well, episode one. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you guys later.